Self-awareness. Here's the example that has been jumping out all day. Okay, so President Trump announces America's withdrawal from the Paris Climate Agreement yesterday. And the rhetoric on cable television got so overheated that fire alarms likely went off in studios all over the city of New York. <laughs> Here's a representative selection of what happened. Watch. What happened yesterday on the climate issue is an embarrassment to a country, and it should be an embarrassment to him personally for how he answers to his grandchildren. People are going to die. Uh, habitat will be destroyed. Seas will rise. Insects will spread. We have much present this psychological trouble in this way since at least Richard Nixon. So obviously some of the most successful people in the world are highly upset about this, and almost none of them have bothered to explain what's actually in the Paris deal, though. But they assure us that deal is the solution to the single gravest threat this planet has ever faced, rising levels of atmospheric CO2. They're dead serious about that. You can tell by the outraged looks on their faces and the purple <laughs> rhetoric. But hold on a minute. Can we really be sure that these people take carbon emissions seriously? Well, to find out, we compared what they say to how they live. The rule being, don't watch listen or don't listen watch it's always much more revealing so let's start with billionaire retailer richard branson he says fossil fuels are dangerous and he calls trump's decision quote america first earth last now on the other hand branson owns a dassault falcon 50 ex private jet it burns more fuel on a single flight to maui than you're going to go through in a lifetime of trips to the shore elon musk meanwhile is mad about global warming too yet he flies around in a gulf stream g650 er Bill Gates says he's deeply concerned, yet he still commutes in a $62 million Bombardier BD-700 Global Express. Can you imagine the gas mileage that gets? <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio says Trump's move threatens, quote, the livability of our planet. And yet DiCaprio flew a private jet 4,000 miles from Cannes, France to New York to accept a climate award and then flew back privately. Hillary Clinton tweeted that Trump's pullout was, quote, a historic mistake that leaves American workers and families behind. And yet... Speaking of workers and their families, there probably weren't a lot of those on board last year when Hillary used a private jet to fly 20 miles from Martha's Vineyard to Nantucket for a fundraiser, a critical fundraiser. Also, it's a little rich for Clinton to tout the needs of the planet on the very same day today that a new email was revealed showing she once requested a separate private plane from Michelle Obama to fly to Betty Ford's funeral. And of course, there's the former president, Barack Obama, who, for whatever reason, never seems to get the credit the awesome hypocrisy he displays so deserves. Obama told us just yesterday that Trump's refusal to take CO2 emissions seriously could, quote, crush future generations. And yet, here's some of what he has done just since January. On the day he left office, Obama took a marine helicopter to a government-owned 747. He flew that across the country to Palm Springs, California. <laughs> After a few days of relaxing at an 11,000 square foot mansion, can you imagine the air conditioning required for that? The electricity bill, unbelievable. He flew then on Richard Branson's private plane to the Caribbean. Then he got on a private boat that took him to Branson's private island. He later left on a private jet and took another <laughs> private jet to Tahiti in the French Polynesia. After that trip wrapped up, he took another private jet to Milan where a 14-car caravan escorted him to a conference where he spoke about, brace yourselves, global warming. <laughs> Leaving open the question, how much does he, how much do any of these people really care about carbon emissions, Ann Coulter? <laughs> <laughs> that is so fantastic. No, but I mean, like, what does that even, I mean, how...